it's been a long time since I lived in my hometown, which was Cortland, New York. Uh, it's a pretty, it's a, it's just a small town. Uh, it's fairly nondescript in a lot of ways. There wasn't a lot of creative stimulation. Um, you know, in a small town, there's not a lot in terms of alt arts and culture. And I feel like I was kind of culture starved. And to see uh, the superhero team that was being led by this fierce black lady with a white mohawk, you know, who wore black leather and, uh, you know, it, it, it was amazing, and it was so different than anything else I'd seen. I was kind of the only comic book reader I knew growing up, uh, and like none of my friends were into it. And uh, you know, it, it, geek culture wasn't really a thing then. And in a small town, like I didn't really, I didn't have friends who were out. I didn't have any. There was no one in my community in my life that was an out queer person. So um, until I was a teenager, I really didn't have anyone to really talk about it with and explore, you know, the, the mentality of a, <laughs> of a queer teen. <laughs> it was just sort of in the back of my mind and like, I figured once I got out of that town and, you know, went to college and kind of had some freedom and to operate it as an adult, I would kind of be able to explore what that meant. Um, but as a teen growing up, I really kind of just didn't have that space. Um, and, you know, to me it wasn't a it, it wasn't great, but it wasn't as hard as it was for, I think, for other kids and who have much more um, painful stories about growing up a queer teen in a small town. Uh, for me, it was just sort of like a, another aspect of the kind of lonely kind of ennui of a small town for a weirdo. I, I think that if you talk to a lot of queer folks, especially those who were into comics and in, in the geeky subculture of queer culture. Um, we all had kind of rich interior lives growing up, you know, and that was part of what comics were. And that was their kind of escape to whatever was, you know, escape from your world. And, you know, for some people it was escape from a lot of real, you know, a, a bad scene, you know, escape from real tension and pain and abuse or, you know, real serious stuff uh, that comics helped them deal with. I think for me it was more just, um, yeah, an escape to somewhere more interesting where I felt like um, I kind of saw aspects of myself in, in the creative aspects of comics and the, the artistic interpretations of kind of classic archetypes and how much freedom they were given in, in the comics medium. Um, I think that's what kind of hooked me in that. Um, and that's how they were important to me and why they let me kind of escape my, uh, my surroundings as they were. I don't really remember talking comics with anybody until I was much older and met other comics fans here in the city and they were like social groups and just, just in general it became it, it easier to find people with shared interests. I mean, it's part of the New York City phenomenon thing. I think when you come here you get to be whoever you want and the person that I wanted to be when I moved to the city was a comics geek a little bit more, um, in a more robust way actually moving to a city where there was a comic shop where you could pick from one of many to go to and how awesome that was. You could meet other fans and how exciting that was. At the time when we started Geeks Out, there wasn't, there weren't really other groups doing anything like what we wanted to do. Our goals were um, not, not simply social. We were, um, that was an aspect to it, but we were kind of being, we were out for social justice and we were out to make fan culture and comics culture more respectful and um, inclusive of people who are queer and people who were different. We've created this community, or we've called together this community and made it very obvious to creators and publishers that there is a large demographic of fans who are queer, who want to see themselves represented well and fairly. And this uh, our, our presence and our community's presence 
has driven home the fact that there will be support for these changes.